GFGF, everybody, thank you so much for being here with us today. Side event of Ethereum CC in Brussels for Blockchain Game Alliance. Today we have a couple of OG in cryptos and Web3 gaming. Today with us, well, there is the legend, Sebastian. Um, no need for the dude to have introductions, but we have BitPoy. Thank you, dude, for being with us. Uh, Seth from BitPoy and also Casey from Soulbound. Guys, please. Give us a small introduction about yourself. Maybe we can start with Casey. How did you start in Web3? Sure. Hey everyone, um, I came from the mobile ad tech space and uh, built different platforms to scale up user acquisition in app installs. Um, we kind of dabbled in the Web3 space through an achievement platform that we built a couple of years ago. And it's now slowly morphing into a uh, live streaming and social gaming um, network. So it's That's great. Yeah, Just great. A, 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 an add-on question. Do you have meme coins in your wallet? Yeah, I might have sold a bunch now. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> I, I don't try to hold them. Good. Long. What about you? Tell us more about yourself and do you have any meme coin in your wallet? Yeah. Um, hey guys, my name is Seth. Um, I guess five jet up. Okay. Much better. Yeah, um, my name is Zeth. I'm the uh, founder and CEO of BitBoy. Uh, we came out from a GameFi company on Bitcoin called Ords Games. Um, how many people here uh, know what ordinals are? Just get a show of hands. Everyone. Excellent. Um, and um, so, yeah, like ordinals came out in February 23, and then we started this gaming project in February, uh, in March of 23. Along when BRC20 tokens came out, um, we inscribed video game files on Bitcoin ordinals, and we leveraged BRC20 token standard, later Rooms token standard, to give out Plater and tokens to um, our community members uh, as a GameFi model on Bitcoin, and we're one of the first projects to do that. And um, we have uh, now started getting into hardware by putting our games onto a physical device uh, dubbed the BitBoy, standing for Bitcoin Game Boy. It's a combination of gaming plus mining mechanisms. So for play to earn, you get um, the on-chain games we've inscribed or other projects that's in inscribed games on Bitcoin. And then you have off-chain emulation games that you can play and earn. Um, our rewards are gonna come in the form of sats and runes tokens and BRC20 tokens. And also um, there's going to be uh, a mining mechanism on this where you can enter into lottery mining for Bitcoin. Uh, where you have like a very small chance where you can win a whole Bitcoin block rewards, which is about three Bitcoins. So yeah, we're really you know trying to push the envelope for what's possible with gaming on Bitcoin. And um, public data is really great because uh, we work a lot with, um, because we're creating recreational mini games. So oftentimes we work with meme coin projects uh, to deliver like a fun, interesting meme experience for gaming for the community. Uh, one such an example is Dog. Um, dog go to the moon. Who, who, who has dog go to the moon in your, in your wallet, please? Show of hands. Excellent. Yeah. Um, I do as well, and I've never sold, I probably say I've never sold a single uh, airdropped uh, dog in my wallet. Um, and uh, that's, you know, so far, I would say the highest market cap uh, meme coin on Bitcoin. And we created a game for them called uh, Who's the Top Dog? It's a Pac-Man game uh, where the dog meme walks around trying to avoid the other dog memes, and then when you you know pick the uh, power up, you can go eat the other dog memes uh, in the Pac-Man game. So um, I hold yeah I hold meme coins, um, and I you know really enjoy working with meme coins to gamify them. Uh, so this is a really passionate topic for me. That's crazy, guys. I I'm really curious about how many of you here have meme coins in their wallets, like. Always, everyone. That's pretty interesting, and that's why I was asking because today we are talking about Web3 gaming, but also involving meme coins. And uh, this is like a new narrative that lately came over. It's a new hot topic. What do you think about meme coin being involved inside Web3 gaming? There are pro cons. Do you think it will be the next big boom in the market? Maybe we start with you, that. Yeah. Um, so far, I don't think. I don't think, um, you know, I, w I, don't, I don't think games would be driving meme coin as much as meme coin is driving the games. Um, it's very hard to, like if you create a very successful game, um, there's almost, like you would be incentivized to issue a game coin 
like for your gaming ecosystem, you wouldn't be incentivized necessarily to drop a meme coin um, for the game, right? And memes are oftentimes based on culture, but games have to develop um, centered around IPs and storylines and so on and so forth. So, um, and, and even graphics, all right? So I feel it's more about the games for meme coins are more so to drive drive narrative for the community and for community to find different use cases to get the holders excited about the particular meme. Um, and the funnier you can make it, oftentimes the more effective the game is. It's not so much about the actual gameplay uh, about as, it, as it is about like, you know, having fun and making it uh, a really funny meme. Super, what about you? Yeah, so it sounds like it's all about community in this case, right? So. Um, yeah, I, th I think I think the pro is obviously just community. Like that's gonna drive the the game, whether it's gonna be like some silly flash game or telegram game. But I don't I don't see a meme coin driving a like triple A studio style game and you know working with like different mechanics that could you know evolve um, you know, with different assets that could affect the gameplay and stuff. That's pretty interesting. I, I didn't want to share my opinion because I didn't want to spread any bias, but uh, I totally agree with you guys. And uh, probably it will be just a trend that we should surf in gaming, but it's not like the next big thing. And uh, what do you think about not only user acquisition, but also retention? Like, can we use meme tokens inside games to? also have more retention rather than just user, user adoption or more transactions? I think for user acquisition, it's, it's great. Um, I, don't, I don't, retention might help be, be a little bit more of a sticky point on you know, grabbing a bunch of different users or just dropping different airdrops to different communities and say, oh, come play my game, here's an airdrop and here's like 20, 20 tokens or a thousand tokens or something. But um, for, for UA and retention, I think uh, it's very, very helpful. That's pretty interesting because everyone thinks that um, meme coins are more useful for the engagement rather than retention. What do you think about it? Like, is it useful also to use those tokens for retention or just for engagement and adoption? Well, I think retention is a whole different um, metric when it comes to Web3 gaming. Because if you have, if you look at like Axie Infinity, or if you look at any um, games where the tokenomics are healthy, then you achieve extremely high retention that is abnormal for games. Like in Web 2, game retention would be like six months retention is about 20, 30%, whereas for Axie Infinity is double that. Um, because people don't treat it as uh, playing a game, people treat it as a job where you can make an income. Um, and um, you know, there's, there's, that's a whole other debate whether Web3 games should be targeting people who are using these um, as a way to make uh, generate income. But um, <clears throat> so I think like even if you made a super successful game using meme coin, um, at the end of the day, the retention is going to be temp dependent on if the meme coin itself is successful and if the tokenomics of it supports um, people to keep coming back and leveraging it as a income source. I I'm curious on, on your thoughts on whether you think meme coins would help bring Web2 users into Web3, like traditional gamers into Web3 for the game itself or just, you know, for like the meme? I think, um, for, the, for, the example, for example, like Doge, um, you know, earliest, biggest um, meme, I think that onboarded a group, uh, a, group, a nice group of people from Web2 into Web3, but I think that's predominantly driven by um, Elon Musk and his influence, his fan base. So it's almost like if we st if we see today an influencer dropping a meme coin and onboarding a bunch of people, so I wouldn't necessarily say it's the meme coin meme itself. It's more because the influencer is effectively issuing an asset using his or her fame and fan base, um, and that has a that had that in in and of itself has like a whole set of risks that. Uh, you know, like I think a lot of Web2 people like don't necessarily are, are ready for. Um, you know, I certainly lost a lot of money, um, you know, doing meme coins <laughs> and degening. Um, and I think um, a lot of the times like people, people focus on onboarding people, um, get the numbers up um, more so than educating all of them about the nuances and the risks associated with um, something that has no, no, no tangible value.
And so I, I, I think it's, it's, a good, it's a good way to get exposure. Um, and I think it'll be, ah. <laughs> um, it's a good way to get exposure. Sorry. <laughs> it has been a huge rain. <laughs> they cut the tunnel. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> I, I, was, I, I put the bit point here because uh, Seb actually has a prototype uh, in his office. I was like, is it a replacement? <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah, we, were, we were just finishing up um, about the topic. So I think, yeah, I, th I think it's a good, I think if only one celebrity, like a super big one, did meme coin, became successful, is a good thing. But when everyone starts doing it, then it has a really high risk of hurting the ecosystem. Thank you. I, I think uh, just for uh, a line, uh, Seb, that you doesn't need any intro, it's like a legend, but we need to know what do you think about meme coin in Web3 gaming? Do you think it's the next big trend? So I don't know yet if it's going to be the next big trend, but I think uh, definitely it's uh, uh, an interesting way, like it's been capturing attention overall in within the whole Web3 and uh, like a crypto ecosystem. and. There is definitely a way, like to uh, like move a bit of that attention back into gaming. And why is that? Uh, is basically a lot of like the meme coin are, are like uh, turning around like the cultures, like uh, making jokes, making fun over social media. And um, like in games, like you have always those game characters, you have always those funny situations, you have a lot of like epic fail moment or fun moment that you want to share. So if we were to turn a lot of those meme coin into game characters and like import them into either like the casual gameplays we've been all familiar uh, with uh, mobile free to play gaming, uh, or you use the meme coin into like a 3D virtual world uh, like sandbox to create your own stories, mini game and adventure, uh, I'm sure there's a way to convert that traffic onto it. We've seen uh, that a uh, little bit effective already with Telegram uh, Ton Network and Telegram Games already with a simple little clicker gameplay associated with those meme coin characters. And uh, recently, actually last month on Sandbox, we acquired a lot of uh, meme coin, like the top five, um, Meme, Pepe, uh, Sheep, Dog, uh, etc. And uh, we're going to reward those uh, tokens to uh, the players will participate into a specific games and experience. So I'm sure we will, f and that's the first step. The second step will encourage the community to create their own game and character stories uh, in sandbox, turning those uh, meme coin into like 3D uh, playable avatars. So uh, that would be a very interesting experiment to, to witness and see how like the attention can be moved and, and turned into something variable in general in uh, free gaming. That's actually a cool insight because we are actually doing something very similar, like we avatarize Gary, Gary Gensler, and uh, he's like kicking asses off of meme coins, it's like a gameplay and the community is really reacting, like the small bunch of our community that has the alpha in their hands are really like super engaged and that was the next question indeed, do you think that meme coins can be of course used by uh, for engagement and user adoption inside games, but what about retention? This is a sort of controversial uh, question. Also, some people were asking me on LinkedIn if I could ask this thing I, I forgot to mention because on my post I was asking, do you guys have any question? And they were like so curious about what's the difference between engagement, adoption, and then also retention by using meme coins. And so I want to flip the question on you guys. They are already answered before you arrive, but let us know what you what you think about it. Hard work. <laughs> well, uh, acquisition basically is like uh, you were uh, like uh, trying to attract all those communities that been building up around like different meme coin uh, to like try new products, try new services. So. Uh, making them uh, like essentially install application or connect their wallet where they have those meme coins to our decentralized game uh, and services um, to try a product. But then like how do you drive like retention and engagement uh, behind it? Like you need to not just make them try but make them produce some kind of deliverable or content and make them come back after they tried like for uh, many times over a repeated period of time, whether it's on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, and so on. And uh, attention and, and, and re sorry, engagement and retention only builds up if you provide like a, a longer goal. 
for them to, to come up and keep coming back. So that can be achieved with quests, with leaderboards, earning points, entering like competition where they have to rank based either on their skills or on, like leveraging their social graph to invite their friends and uh, other members of the community to participate as well. And usually it also comes with a form of reward or price as well for like the time they're going to spend and the engagement that it generates uh, back for like the, the service developer. We've seen, again, we've seen that very well with uh, Telegram Network Open League, where like they have been running, I don't know if you heard of the Open League, they run this uh, leaderboard where every community is trying to get uh, as many members and so on to bring the meme coin to our the Telegram Network, and they earn collectively points uh, based on certain rules. And I think the same gameplay, uh, basically, uh, like, completing certain action in an application to earn points and ranking in a leaderboard can be applied uh, very typically in gaming. It's actually a gamification mechanic. It's something we've been using in Sandbox for years as part of our events and season. It's coming back again with the next season four. And it's a definitely a proven engagement and retention mechanic. So, you say, yeah, it sounds just more, it's more like, um, your game mechanics are really driving more on the retention and like the meme coin usage is on like the acquisition side. Yeah, totally. I Great summary. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now that we are aligned, um, a question from, from Twitter. So in our community, they asked, well, from the Twitter community, it can be any community, but this guy was asking a question about economy and sustainability. So going more in details of the tokenomics, what are the potential risks that using, uh, using of meme coins in game economies can appear, you know, or start to succeed in terms of like um, not being any more sustainable or getting risk um, of any kind inside the economy, which is pretty controversial as well because maybe you can use just for a short time a meme coin inside a game or for a long term also in terms of uh, retention but this is a good topic like it, there is always a hot topic but then we never really forecast the consequences in the long term so maybe what are the risks in the long term if we are going to use meme coins inside game games and maybe we can start with you Casey. I think just the obvious is volatility with as a meme coin itself, and I mean the more volatile the coin is, you know, the, the more risk that maybe the community that came in and you kind of acquired through through that meme coin just leaves and um, debarks once you know the coin tanks or you know it's not as hot anymore. There's like another meme coin now that um, is uh, you know on fire or something. So I think volatility is kind of just the big risk in all of this. Yeah, the, the way that I like to see it is um, um, every every chain, um, it's like its own city or its own nation, right? So, um, and you can view games as independent economies as well. So, uh, when you're trying to create a game with a token economy, then you're effectively building a small city or a small nation, and you're trying to have a supply-demand relationship of a token that is healthy and sustainable. Um, when you're not using your own token, when you're using a meme coin uh, as a way to uh, onboard more users, uh, it's like it's like I just create a new city inside of um, Brussels, and I'm like, let's use uh, instead of U.S. dollar, which is like you know the Bitcoin of the world, uh, let's use I don't know a really random small country currency that has a lot of volatility, uh, but it's very hype right now. Um, and by adopting a currency that's volatile into our gaming economy, you create all the risks that you just. Um, the case just mentioned. And um, also I think it's not very sustainable because you have, when you don't have control over that currency supply, um, it's just like when the central bank doesn't control your, the currency of the, of the country, then you have very little um, that you can do in, in, the, in terms of monetary policy, in terms of managing um, you know, money supply in the economy. So when there's a lot of um, players coming in to demand a token, when there's a lot of players leaving and then dumping the token, there's nothing you can do uh, other than watching your economy deteriorate and then your game is over. Yeah. Uh, uh, indeed, like the, the inherent risks, I think is like uh, exposure first, like to the quality of user and the community and the core reason that they might enter uh, get the, this particular meme coin. Uh, 
project. Uh, some of them are really here just for like the financial and speculative value of it, and like they were not expecting any product or roadmap uh, coming. So you're launching a game, you're accepting uh, that token as a currency. First of all, like you don't own any reserve yourself, so you actually are also subject to like the, the laws of market supply and demand to acquire it and to reward it to the users. There is a majority. Uh, there is all the exposure that you're receiving as like whatever happens within the community of that meme coin um, but will definitely affect as well like your own uh, brand reputation or company reputation if the founder of the project uh, runs a major rug pull on it which unfortunately uh, seems to be happening more often with certain meme coin than with uh, other projects with more uh, uh, how do you say like reputable background or transparent team and execution and so on it's uh, something like then like you no longer have a currency and so on like you also uh, like you're going to build a product it takes time it takes resource uh, you are the developing feature trying to retain user but if at the core the attention of the user is actually um, very short lived or like a, a short span because they are moving quite fast from one financial opportunity to another and they are not necessarily attached so much to what the character or the meme coin uh, represent in terms of culture and community belonging then you're trying to acquire users that are just intrinsically moving rapidly their attention to something else so I guess like the uh, the way to approach meme coin uh, is, is definitely if you're going to build a game or a product on it, is don't necessarily focus on just one unless you're very serious about uh, and you've seen the project for such a long time and you've been involved yourself in the committees that you know their committee, you know their user, and you know the strategy behind to engage and create value for the meme coin, um, and. Um, S maybe some of those meme coins have a foundation or a DAO behind associated, so you get also a form of official support from the community and official funding to reward yourself for like the effort you're going to put as an entrepreneur to bring a team to develop something around it. I totally agree with you. Um, also with you guys, like the, the biggest risk is like attracting speculators and maybe ruin the game because then they will just, you know, flip everything and even the lower or whatever if the game would be ruined a bit if you attract the wrong gamers that are not attached to the story. And this is triggering my, my last question and then we let the public to ask something to you. But what's your in your opinion, your secret sauce, even if it doesn't exist really a secret sauce, but what's your secret sauce if you have to launch like a game with a meme coin, what would you do? What, where would you start? How would you use it for marketing? Like your two cents about it. I know it's it's pretty challenging, <laughs> and but if you feel comfy to, s to share your opinion. Um, I mean, I haven't done this yet, so I suppose, I mean, it's, I think it, in this case, it's all about how you build your community. And if you can get your community to rally around you know, this one idea or this one meme, um, I probably wouldn't base it off on just one meme coin. You know, we have maybe our center, central one, but then you kind of like use various other meme coins as like a user acquisition strategy to kind of like bring in their community and their users. And maybe you token gate that. So if you come into this game, um, you get like X percentage of tokens or um, like an NFT drop or something like that. And so you're not like at the whims of the market of everyone else's meme coin and you still have like control and you kind of like your IMF, your fund for yourself and you can control that. So that would probably be my first, step, my first quick pass at it. That's brilliant. Uh, what about you, that? To issue a meme coin for our game that we're launching, I would never do that <laughs> because um, like meme coins are not supposed to have utility. Right? Um, like meme coin at birth are not supposed to have utility that's born with it. That like people who learned about meme coin for the very first time, people who join about join the um, you know the community for the first time, aren't supposed to be joining for the game. Because if you're doing that, then you're you should be issuing a game coin, a gamefly token. Um, that's how. Like current successful memes that exist um, are, are all based on culture. Like meme coins about culture, right? Um, so 
I, I would do, I think I would do it the other way around, whereby if I'm issuing a GameFi token, I would try to make it a meme, right? Like oh, the, the game token that we're doing, just make it sound like a meme, give it a like, cute name, give it a nice mascot, uh, make it fun and interesting. But because we need to be the central bank of our gaming ecosystem, we can't like give it like a free mint to everyone, give it a um, you know, fair launch mechanism where we, we hold 1% of the total supply. That's gonna crash the game economy any minute where we have no control. Um, and uh, we've done that with our current token where it used to, like our, our, our BRC20 on, 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 on Bitcoin was called ORDG because we, we wanted to make it sound like or, ORDI, or, ORD, right? Because G for gaming, so it's similar. You can't say it's kind of like a meme, not really. And then when, it, when we over, went over to Rooms, uh, we called our, we called Rooms has to, when, when Rooms was born, it, it, you had to do 13 letter tickers. Very long. Um, so we came up with a name called Game of Bitcoin. And that was the name of our Rooms token. We don't have Oris Game, we don't have BitBoy inside the name at all. We just call it Game of Bitcoin to make it sound more like a meme, um, just to get people think that it's kind of meme and fun and cool. Okay, this is very interesting, guys. So basically, we can leverage memes instead of meme coins like inside games and that will be even more powerful than having coins in game. What about you, Sag? What do you think about it? Well, I think like uh, there's two ways indeed uh, to look at it, like whether like a community exists before the coin actually exists and like not all communities are equal in terms of like their uh, the provenance of their member, the values they stand for, uh, what they would engage for uh, in terms of like uh, um, participating in to like events, like uh, sharing content online, the thematic they are talking. Uh, mm, so uh, we've seen projects, I don't know, uh, like Puppy Penguin, Cool Cat, Doodles, uh, Board Ape, they all started with a collection of PFPs as a core of their culture and joining members. If you take uh, Puppy Penguin or Board Ape, they are very different, or World of Women, they are very different profile of uh, members and values they stand for. And ultimately, they are all uh, already having their own coin and having a certain way to, to interact through, uh, through uh, governance and ape coin and now they have ape chain etc or, or the ape ecosystem and on the other side like i'm sure uh, Bugdy penguin will uh, soon have uh, like they, they started and uh, with just the penguins and now they have like the toys which attract a much younger audience and family friendly and now they are going to, they are building their own game and virtual world. And I'm sure something around the roadmap will hint to all, like having a token afterward. Um, those thing, and those are, I think, in a way more uh, natural way to like drive a user um, through that journey and reward them with uh, the token and the coin and leverage it to create like bigger incentive into the ecosystem, drive users to participate uh, eventually even in a decentralized manner to grow that ecosystem. We've seen that on Sandbox too, like a lot of like the most successful game that launched on Sandbox, they, they had just a game on Sandbox and then progressively they started to mint their own token as uh, ex outside of Sandbox, reward their user uh, with it, create leaderboard competition and so on. Like, uh, um, And on the other side you have all those communities that have pretty much nothing than the coin <laughs> and like some of them will not even really look at, at gaming or, or developing any sort of uh, content beyond like just the uh, humor around it and leveraging social media to grow. I think it's going to be hard um, in that case to, to, to extend that universe and bring the value that a gaming, uh, a game can have on a community. And so there is an inherent risk uh, related to that. And that's, um, where I, I feel like very few of the meme coin will uh, effecti effectively be able to have um, games. I, I know like SHIP I, uh, have uh, announced a world, like they are building a, a their own virtual world, they are producing content regularly, etc. So that's one example, whereas I think I don't know, Pepe, for example, is, isn't doing pretty much active to that sense and let the community do uh, whatever they want around it. Pepe is indeed that 
exponential example of before the meme token or the meme in general culture and community. So it totally resonates with me, it makes sense. Um, I don't know if you, Casey, wanted to add anything because earlier I saw you were okay. So now it's up to you guys. Do you want to ask anything from these three legends? Unfortunately, here, here we are we're passing the time, so sorry oh, for that. Really? We're not no. going to have any questions about it. That's sorry, we all, we have another panel after that. But a, any question you may have, either with Zip, because they have butchers who are there, Sebastian will be around as well, so you can ask questions, and also for Casey as well. So sorry for that, for no question for this one. Uh, but it was a very interesting subject, so thanks a lot for, for the panelists and the speakers.